Good evening, everyone. My name is Tom, and today we're looking at Core DAO, or the Core Network, Core Blockchain. It's a relatively new network. The mainnet's been out for a few months now. However, there are a few innovations that it's offering that could be somewhat game-changing. It combines the strength of both proof-of-work and also delegated proof-of-stake mechanisms. Cordao's system is designed to ensure a secure, scalable and decentralized digital currency platform. But to an extent, we might have heard that before from pretty much every layer two out there. But let's paint a picture to make understanding things a little bit easier. Imagine two validators, A and B, just for simpleness. Validator A has twice the hash power of B, but only a quarter of the stake. Traditionally, this would pose a challenge in reward distribution, but the core network in its innovative spirit has a system that calculates rewards based on both hash power and stake. This encourages fair distribution, encouraging validators to both contribute computational power and have a stake in the system, promoting a balanced and equitable ecosystem. So best of both worlds in a way. For those involved in the intricate world of cross-chain communications as well, the Core Network has some enticing news. Relayers, the unsung heroes facilitating these communications, will earn a portion of the system rewards as transaction fees. This not only incentivizes their crucial role, but also ensures the smooth functioning of cross-chain operations, something that perhaps is invaluable as we move into an interoperable future. But what about the vigilant watchdogs of the crypto world, those who keep a keen eye out for malicious activities? Well, the Core Network has a reward system for them too. By submitting evidence of any harmful activities, if proven accurate, they can earn rewards that exceed their costs. This proactive approach ensures a safer and more transparent network for all users. It's a rather innovative bug bounty system. The security of the network as well, perhaps, is the cornerstone of any digital platform. It's been also given a paramount importance by the core network. They've implemented robust measures against network attacks like DDoS and also Eclipse attacks. But what truly sets them apart is their approach to consensus attacks. By combining proof of work and also dedicated proof of stake and a unique validator election mechanism, they've created a fortress that makes attacks like the 51% attacks and also Sybil not only economically unwise, but also extremely challenging to actually execute. For those who revel in the intricacies of mathematics, the Core Network's assurance of security is backed by a robust mathematical proof. This proof ensures that transactions on their platform, named Satoshi Plus, are ironclad secure as long as less than one third of the nodes are malicious. This level of security assurance is a significant mile in the world of digital currency and EVM. The innovations, however, don't stop there. The Core Network has introduced a token with a hard cap of 2.1 billion. Borrowing a strategy from Ethereum, a percentage of all block rewards and transaction fees will be burned. This ensures the value of the token remains, well, theoretically robust, and the supply remains in check, a move that's bound to pique the interests of investors and users alike. Governance as well, a topic of much debate in the crypto world, is being handled with a progressive approach by the core team. While the core team will oversee the network through their control of the DAO initially, the reins will gradually be handed over to the community. This phased approach to decentralization ensures stability in the early stages and a transition to a truly decentralized system as the network matures. However, as we are well aware, the path to decentralization is not without its challenges. The core network acknowledges the importance of trust and community building, especially in the early stages which we're in at the moment. They've outlined a phased approach, starting off with off-chain governance, moving to limited on-chain governance, and then finally, full on-chain governance. Each phase is meticulously planned to ensure the stability and growth of the core network. All this information is available on the white paper. And to conclude this sort of section of the video, we stand in a way on a cusp of a new digital era in cryptocurrency. The core network's innovative approach promises a future of security, scalability, and true decentralization, if that even exists. It's an exciting development, and also we will be monitoring it, obviously, as well closely at BSC News. Before we get into it, though, I would like to remind everyone that this video is intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. I am not a licensed financial advisor, and investing in cryptocurrency always carries risk. Let's get to it. Now let's look at some of the protocols on the core blockchain, or core DAO, and also the TVL of the whole ecosystem. The data that you're about to witness is gathered from 
DeFi Llama. It also showcases a remarkable journey of growth and also fluctuations over the period of time since it's launched. Initially starting with a modest TVL of only $14,000 roughly, the platform witnessed a significant surge reaching a peak of $21 million US dollars TVL. However, there were notable dips with the TVL dropping to $8.3 million before rebounding to its current value of around $7.9 million US dollars. Let's look a little bit closer at the individual protocols as well. So Ice Cream Swap, one of the most popular protocols on the network. It began with a TVL of $14,000, the first on the core network. It experienced fluctuations, obviously we are in crypto, and with its current TVL, it stands at $777,000 US dollars. The next largest protocol on the ecosystem is LFG Swap. It showed significant activity in the initial stages, but seems to have plateaued recently, with their latest TVLs being 1.4 million around that, and also 1.47 million respectively. Next on the list is Shadow Swap. It's been on a bit of a roller coaster ride, starting around 65,000 US dollars TVL and reaching a high of 7.5 million US dollars TVL before settling at its current TVL of only 8.7 million US dollars at the time of this recording. CoreSwap made its entry with a TVL of just $1.50, as records state in the very, very early stages. It has since grown to a commendable $130,000, though. ArcherSwap, which is a very, very popular platform, it started its journey later than the other swaps, but its TVL peaked around $7.6 million, US dollars, and it currently stands around $3.2 million. Obviously, overall, there is a lot of TVL on the chain, but compared to Ethereum, BNB chain, is still relatively small. Let us know in the comments, do you hold Core? Do you participate in the Core DAO ecosystem? It's also worth noting that as well, protocols like Aquarius Loan, SushiSwap V3, KuanSwap and BroSwap did not provide any data for the period in question to DeFi Llama. Anyway, let us know your thoughts on the Core DAO. Anything and everything goes. Tell me in the comments. Speak soon, everyone.